So in this video, we are going to set up our Mac machine uh, to run Flutter and consequently to run Dart. So I'm here at flutter.io. This is the website where you should pretty much live <laughs> for the next uh, weeks or months, okay? Um, it's very informative. As you can see, there's a lot of documentation here that we will be coming back to as we progress in our studies. But what we need to do now is just go to get started here. Click on get started. In this case, I'm going to install, uh, follow the installations on Mac OS. I'm going to click there. But you also notice here if at this point, by the time of this recording, you see this, uh, go ahead and click this wiki article here. It's, um, it's an information about people in China using um, Flutter. So it says here you're installing, if you're installing or using Flutter in China, it may be helpful to use trustworthy local mirror sites. Okay, so please do read this if you are downloading this from China and follow those instructions. That's very important. Since I'm not in China, I won't need that. So I'm going to go back, click on install on Mac, and it gives me all the information that I need to install here. Okay, let's go to system requirements. It says I need 64 bit Mac OS, disk space at least 700 megabytes. It says here it does not include disk space for Xcode or Android Studio. You notice that we also will need Android Studio because Android Studio is the IDE that allows us to create Android apps, which is what we're going to be using in conjunction with the Flutter SDK or platform or framework to build Android apps. Xcode is needed when we are ready to uh, port our applications into iOS platform, okay? Now, I do understand if you're on Windows, this can be a little bit tricky because Windows doesn't really allow for you to build iOS applications. There are workarounds around that, but I'm not legally allowed to tell you uh, how to do that, okay? So, I would suggest if you're on Windows, you can, there's a lot of information available online that will let you uh, run Xcode on a Windows machine. There we go. So, and then it says here the tools. Flutter depends on these command lines, all of this. Okay. Okay. So, let's keep going here. So, we're going to go use Git. So, Git is the repository framework that it's used to, to host code and free software all, all around the world. So, so, in order for us to get all the configurations for Flutter, we need to use certain commands so that we can pull that code in this case, the Flutter SDK onto our machine. So before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and open terminal. I'm going to say terminal. So you just say uh, command space tab, say enter, and there is my terminal. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see what's going on. All right, what am I going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and follow the instruction. In fact, I can go ahead and copy all these instructions and will clone the Flutter SDK for me. Now also make sure that you are the admin as you do this. That way you don't run into a lot of issues. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, copy all of that code, go back here, paste it in, say enter, and you notice it's working. Look at that, it's downloading everything. And it said it's done. And the next thing we have here says there is this command that will set the, the path variable in our machine of where to find the Flutter SDK. Now, but it also says here that this path variable is only for temporary. So if we do this, it's only going to be set the path temporarily, necessarily what we want. We want to make sure that when we set the path to our SDK, Flutter SDK in our machine, that this path is set forever, right? Throughout all sessions as we work on our computer. And to do that, they tell us um, we actually Let's go ahead and click here. Uh, it tells us to update our Flutter or update our path. So the first thing we need to do is to find where the Flutter SDK is situated. All right, so what we're going to do now is to find where we put our Flutter SDK, okay? Uh, the easiest way to do this is uh, if you open any finder on your Mac, and then at the top you go to Go and go to home, right? So this is where you will see all of sort of things. 
and some of them are going to be visible others won't no problem it stays inside of flutter you see it says flutter there we go this flutter sdk so all of these is what we just added so what do we need to do to get the path because we actually need a path as you can see it's going to be something like this in fact i'm going to go ahead and copy this and change things accordingly i'm going to copy this and open our terminal again where is our terminal there it is that's our terminal just give it more space there and i'm going to paste that one in and i'm going to change this path here because it has to be the path to our flatter here so what i'm going to do here actually i'm going to just take this if you take it and drag and put it somewhere inside there you will see it will show you the actual path so what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy what i just pasted in say copy like that and i'm going to delete all of this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to just go back and start getting rid of all of this because i'm going to put the actual path right click I'm gonna paste it in and there we go so let's make sure here the path is gonna be users probably shown this this should obviously be your path probably your name uh, it's gonna to be to flutter and then we're gonna go inside of flutter that bin let's make sure this is correct because we don't want to have double so we're gonna go flutter do we have any flutter nope we want to go straight to our bin here okay so that means we have to get rid of one of these flutters there like this there we go okay so this is our path and let's hit enter all right so we should have set our path correctly here so we're going to go ahead and include the flutter sdk path into our bash profile so this bash profile is a file on a mac on mac os that has all of the paths to all of the sdks that we want our computer to always recognize okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to use a command to open our bash profile which, which simply is just say touch okay space hit add the squiggly line so shift hit the so the key before the one key the number one key and then what i'm going to do i'm going to say forward slash this is very important say dot give you more space here and once i have that dot i'm going to say bash underscore profile semicolon and i say open this is the command to open we want to open the bash so again squiggly there forward slash dot bash underscore profile all right that's a lot of things there but uh you can see it's not very hard okay and i'll i'll link i'll give you this whole command for you just to copy and paste it in hit enter and all of a sudden this happened and you can see right away that there's a few other paths that have been added already here the reason why is because as an android developer as a developer in general i have already a few paths that have been set for the sdk android sdk and maven and apache and all this stuff what we're going to do now we're going to go back here we're going to add this we're going to say export add a path and this directory here is going to be the directory to where our flutter is okay so i'm going to copy all of this Okay, you notice it has to be exactly the same um, path where you clone the Flutter's Git repo, repo, which is what we did before. So I'm going to go back. Let's go back to go ahead and open this again. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the bash profile here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste right below. Okay, this is not over. Remember, because we have to get the actual path and how do we get the actual path remember here i have this path here um, just to simplify i'm gonna go open our terminal here this is easier i'm just gonna go ahead and go back to where we saw the bin or this flutter if you take it and drop it here it will give you the path so copy this path all right this is t 
tedious, but it's important. I'm going to copy and paste it in here. I'm going to delete all of that and say control V and there we go. Now you notice that we have two flatters here. This is very important because we don't have two flatters to get to where we want or the bin, right? So if you go back here, you notice the idea is to go to poly shown, go to flatter and straight to bin. So this is just an error. So I'm going to get rid of one flatter here. So there is just poly to shown flatter and bin and then path just like that control save and you can get rid of that okay so i'm going to go ahead and get out of this shell so that way everything uh, goes back and restarts itself updates itself okay and then i'm going to go ahead and, and say terminal again to see if things indeed have worked all right so i'm going to go ahead and say echo say path enter like this and look at that now we have flutter it's in our path that's very cool this means if we go back to the top here where it says um, let's see here flutter doctor we should see something happening if we type this command remember again if you want a temporary path set you just do this but we don't want that we want this not to be a temporary we want this to be forever that's why we went to update it and use this to make it so that the path is set for as long as we have our computer okay so let's go back at top here and type in the flutter doctor in our command line and hopefully something will happen say flutter doctor and look at that says building flutter tools take a few seconds look at that oh I love it so it's getting all of the tools that we want that we need frankly let me take a few seconds Very nice. So now you can see, I'll make this a little bit bigger. You can see our Flutter indeed did work because it went ahead and started downloading the Dart SDK. Remember, Dart is the language that it's used in Flutter to create iOS, Android, and iOS applications, which also means we're going to be learning that. So the setup is really good. And you can read, there's a lot of information here. It's downloaded all of these things, right? Material fonts, blah, blah, blah. So many great things. This is great. And you notice also put it a tool chain to our iOS, which is it has exclamation mark there. We'll fix all that stuff, no worries. But let's look, it says here, IntelliJ IDEA, uh, Flutter plugin not installed. This adds Flutter specific functionality. Dart also plugin not installed and says no connected device. That is totally fine. Okay. At least we know that everything else has been installed and we're ready to go. The next thing we need to do is to fire up our IntelliJ ID and add this Flutter plugin and the Dart plugin. And we'll do that in the next video.